So here's a test of a concept. We just filled this plastic bag, which is just a trash bag that has a uh, tank fitting on it and duct tape on the edges. And we filled this bag with biogas from the digester in the greenhouse. This one on the left wasn't producing any gas these past couple of days for some reason. But um, we filled the garbage can in the back there and then that was filled with about 200 liters and we just transferred that into this garbage bag and it's um, portable obviously and so we're going to see how easy it is to cook on it and how much time we get from that. Open the valve and see what kind of pressure we need to put on the on the thing. Now we will open this and light it. And it may be that we're not going to get anything because there's no pressure to force the gas out. We have, it's just a plastic trash bag with duct tape closing it and a tank adapter and a valve and the valve is now open and it's going to the stove so to give it weight so we can push the, gla the gas to the stove I'm just going to put a blanket I'm just going to put a blanket over it that should we hope provide sufficient weight to push the gas to the stove and so we'll open the gas valve and let's see there we go and now it's um, it's beginning to work and that's with blanket pressure so we'll see how long this lasts and we can do some cooking with it and once again that is coming from that garbage bag under the blanket there and so I'll pause the video and we will see how long we get from that at this flame height. So hello and welcome to another porch top experiment. This is a plastic bag filled with biogas. And this is just a plastic trash bag that has had the ends duct taped and then it has a tank adapter and a valve. And I filled this trash bag with the gas that came from Biodigester 1 in the greenhouse. But I'd used that to fill my upside down trash can floating in water, my floating tank, and then transferred the gas to here. This Biodigester here hasn't been producing for the past two days for some reason, I have to figure that out. But this one has and it filled that and I transferred the gas to this plastic bag. So there's about 150 liters of gas I would say in there. And uh, we're gonna put some weight on it because without putting weight we found it does not push the gas to the kitchen. So I'm just putting a blanket over it. And that seems to have sufficient weight. And then the gas is pushed through this pipe into the kitchen and to the stove where I have my soup and I will turn on the gas here and light it. It'll take a few seconds for the gas to start flowing. And maybe, indeed, we have to change the blanket a bit to give it a little bit more weight because it is not... Oh, there it goes, okay. Nonetheless, uh, a little bit more weight would be helpful. So, <clears throat> let me double over 
some of the weight here of this blanket and some of the weight here and that'll keep the bag from puncturing. You can use a larger blanket but now as you can see we have a decent flame at 534 in the afternoon and we'll see how long this flame lasts and if I can off of a garbage bag's worth if I can get a pot of soup so I'll just turn off the camera and start it up again or maybe I'll just videotape the whole procedure. Depends how much gas we have here in this bag. I think it's a nice solution because you can carry these lightweight plastic bags anywhere. And in fact, we're going to see if we can't just fill the bag directly without having to use our usual gas collector, which is the inverted trash can upside down in the larger water-filled rainwater collection tank. Then you would be able to eliminate that whole section and just put your digester connected to trash bags and fill the trash bags and then you could put the trash bags together in parallel or in series. But uh, the idea of using a throw blanket to push out the gas I think is a nice one. If it was a little larger and a little heavier, then we could regulate the gas at the end of the stove. But um, it certainly works. And we could bring the trash bag inside the house. It's just uh, not necessary. I mean, it would be perfectly safe, but we don't want to recommend that people bring trash bags of gas inside the house when you've got a porch right outside. So, it's just now waiting for the soup to boil. Needless to say, after 10 minutes, we're boiling on the biogas. 10 minutes of a flame like this. And we're at a boil with the soup and once again the gas is being supplied by this plastic trash bag with a blanket loosely placed on it and I really like this um, this gas storage option because plastic bags are cheap and can be found everywhere and when it wears out you can easily get another one Blankets are found everywhere and provide just the right weight without puncturing the plastic bag. And uh, then you just need a, a valve and a tank fitting. But it really does a, a nice job. And it seems that the average trash bag, that one, is sufficient to make one meal, as you can see. So, it's not a bad option at all. As we get to 16, 18 minutes, the uh, flame gets pretty low, so we have to throw another blanket on, and uh, that'll help it. So you just, so you should have a, a blanket that is heavy enough or large enough to, uh, to add the extra weight. And then you won't have to tend to it like I'm doing here. And that increases your, your flame height. But we're at about, um, we're about 20 minutes off of that trash bag, which wasn't completely full when we started. So that is certainly a good thing. So 
here we are at the 20 minute mark and um, probably won't be able to squeeze much more the flame is dying out after 20 minutes there's just a little bit of gas here and here in the bag so we're we're pretty much out of methane and that's uh, that's it the uh, the bag is empty it's a little bit of methane there and you can see if you'd had a heavier blanket then you could definitely get the gas out in a more uniform way now the gas is out and the soup is boiled 20